In this video, we're going to take a look at the wall climbing. Now, wall climbing, we got a couple of different options in here. So let's go ahead and show you these. So first, we got basically just looking at materials in general. We could use the whole building or whatever you want for wall climbing. So we can climb all the way up to the top. We could go sideways. Once he gets to the top, he automatically jump up. We can also go through and just use the simple wall climbing. And he will climb up, grab the top edge, and climb across. Now here, once he gets to that edge, he's basically stuck. We can also take this and go around corners. So this one here is pretty simple. Uh, again, all of these are just using materials. Now on this one over here, this is wall climbing, but he can only climb in certain areas. So he can only climb here where there is vegetation or like vines climbing up the side. So again, if you wanted it to go across, this way he has something to hold on to. You know, we're not just dealing with ladders, things like that. Okay. And he can go all the way across as long as there's a as long as there is a space for that material. Now when we're creating this material, there's some specific options that we have to do. Again, he can climb around the edges, climb all the way up to the top. Let's get back over on this side. And let's climb up and get on top of the building. Okay, so these are pretty simple. Again, let's just take a look at the materials for these. So in our materials, again, we have two different types. I have a material here just for wall climbing. Simple texture, have my normal maps, texture coordinates. The main thing is our physics material. So we have a physics material out here. With that physics material, all we're looking at is creating a new physics. So just right click, create new physics, physical material, give it a name. Once you name that, down here at the bottom of our physics material, you got to click on this little blue arrow, create a new object. And in there, when you create that new object, use the Adventure Kit Physics Material property. You can see is wall is climbable wall is jumping possible so we're going to create a jumping area is slide so this is where he's going through and setting this up for the sliding like an ice skating rink or when he's sliding down that slide itself i just created a little ice skating rink the slide control strength how strong do you want that to slide so and we're just using this physics material inside of that material. So with that selected, just come in here, click on the arrow, and that would add it in. So that's our first one. Same on the second one. But with the second material, we have some more options. So again, we're not using that physics material here. We actually have a physics material mask. So we're creating a mask. And then down at the bottom, we have that black physics material. That's where we're using that climbable wall. And then just a default that has no physics added to it. We just create that physics material itself. So it's just a plain physics material. Nothing has been added down below. Okay. And then, again, the previous one, the physics material, is that wall climbable. So just use that same one over and over again. Now, what I did is I went through and I just copied his materials, brought it into my own package, and I went through and 
changed my textures to where he had his textures. So every place he had the texture sample, I went through and created my own. Up here at the top, he, his are set up a little bit differently. So let's go open up his as well and take a look at that. So let's go ahead and minimize that. And let's take a look at his climbable wall. And basically up here at the top, he just has a couple of color parameters. I just got rid of those and brought in my own textures. Okay. I just put a texture sample in and put it into the same colors. Again, coming down, texture sample, I replaced it with my own. Texture object, I replaced it with my texture sample. Okay, and that's about all I did with these. And then again on the um, on the normal maps, I used my own normal maps. So I'm just replacing his textures with mine. Now coming across here, getting back to this mask. This mask here is very important. It's a black and white mask, and it needs a needs to be a one bitmap black and white image. So how do we create that? Well, let's go over to Photoshop. Here's my materials that I was using. So, and I've changed them a couple of times, but basically it's just going through and laying out your materials. Where do you want your character to be able to climb on that wall? And taking that where he can climb and creating that mask out of it. Okay. Basically with this mask, again, it has to be a one bitmap gray image. So basically taking this, I saved that out into a new file. So let's take this, let's copy that. I'm going to create a new file. Let's go ahead and paste that in there. I'm going to go through an image mode. Let's take that to grayscale. Discard. So now I have my mode out here. Maybe you're going to take that down to a bitmap. Flatten it. So now when we save this, we're going to file, save as. We're going to save this out as a bitmap image. Okay. You can see I got two different ones up here. I'm just going to save this out. Make sure that the bitmap image, file format, windows, depth, one bit. We need that one bit depth off of that or it's not going to work. Now when we import this, we need to make sure that when we go through and import that image, that we also go through and specify the correct areas. So let me find my image here. So here's my image. Just going to open that. And when we come through, we're going to go through and set this to a TC underscore one bit monochrome. Make sure you use that one bit monochrome. Okay, so that's our one bit. Let's go ahead and cancel that. We're going to select that image with it selected. We're going to come in and add that as the mask. Okay, so add that as your mask area. And then once you go through, just save it out normally as you would any others. And that's how we create that texture so we can climb only in specific areas on that building so it's not too hard to set up it's just the most important thing is getting that one bit mask again it has to be black and white the black area is where you can crawl on where you can climb the white area we are not able to climb in that white area okay so here's the white area. You can see it's just acting like a regular area. 
wherever it's black in that mask, we can go through and climb on it. Again, we can climb across the ceilings. So if that's what you want. Okay, C key, we can drop down. We can jump off, things like that. Pretty simple, nothing too hard. So in the, this again, we're just dealing with the materials for the climbing. All the code has been set up. And again, if you want to have him climb faster or things like that, just go into the pond, find that climbing, and modify that code. So with that, we're going to bring this to an end, and we'll see you in the next video.